Hello together to my six, 16th part of road trip and wild camping. I'm at the moment in Sweden. <coughs> well, still about a little bit north than the polar circle. But actually did drive it like twice this day, today. Like twice over the polar circle without even noticing it. There were no signs or anything. Norway they had like a, a center, polar circle center, which was very nice I find, I found then and yeah, here is about nothing about that. So yeah, I did go to the national parks uh, today, there was actually, I'm actually at the moment near Stora Siafale, there is a there is the, like the park administration, there's a Naturama, they call it. There's a, a little expedition and a coffee and a, like I said, information point. So it is very nice built for that, I must say. It, does, it fits very, very nice in the surroundings. And uh, it's also some activities going on, so for families and that kind. And yeah, like I said, very nice. Um, I did arrive today, well, very early in the park because I just made about 200 kilometers today, so not much. I was uh, on the mountain side on the way to here, and there was actually a cool thing that happened. Uh, I did see just about four reindeers on the, in one hour crossing the road on the way to here <laughs> which I find was very very cool and yeah I did, my, I did build up my tent a second time today like twice so it was a little bit further up but there were already some other campers around it so nah, I wanted actually a nice spot on that and from the views and sight, I must say it is. It does look. It does appear to me very, very well, a bit nicer than the other things. And well, the stone heap behind me is actually dam. So, so after the Naturama, it's just about I don't know, maybe a kilometer. Then on the right side, there's a way going away from the main road in the park. Well, it's just about to follow the road, drive to the dam, and don't go, go like too, much, too far left. It's just you take the way over the dam, and then you are actually at, at, at this beautiful spot. And don't know why, but there's no one here. <laughs> so yeah, which I find very nice. So I have my little private scenery tour here. So yeah, it's absolutely an awesome valley. Uh, a little bit of snow on the mountains here. And yeah, that's how, how it looks like. It does appear that uh, well, the, the clouds were a little bit further up there. These are actually going the wind is from this direction over here and that's how it's going to look like like maybe the next two hours If I could, well, like I said, uh, searching for our campsite. Oh, my water is cooking. Just put that aside here. Yeah. Put it a little bit down. Um, 
shovel some wood in. Yeah, on the way around the area here, I thought because I was oh, before I came here was watching on YouTube also um, camping videos, also so like bike camping and that kind of stuff. And I thought it would be could have been one one lady that would have like uh, a YouTube uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, channel or well, kind of would have a YouTube channel and uh, she had like pink pink trousers on and it was a red car and well I couldn't see the, the face or anything it was just for some naked feet sticking out of the car <laughs> so um, yeah but I did carry on with driving and because I was on the search for uh, other side um, but when I came back it was actually quite a bit unfortunate for me because it was already away yeah? uh, she, well the car was still the car the red car was still there I can't I didn't look at the number plate or anything like that so um, well, when, when she w would have when, when the person would have been that person I would have gone and say hello but yeah didn't manage a little bit un unlucky can be and yeah well today today is still Sunday tomorrow I will look what I want to do I think I will do a, a hike here in the park uh, like a one day hike so yeah but I, I think I leave the campsite here I leave the tent here and just go with the car and um, yeah uh, do this I think it was about 15 kilometers or something like that hmm pretty far Well, for a day two it should, should work. But uh, I'm not chalking, so at home I'm do uh, I do chalking like ten kilometers. It would be well, I'm out of form with driving the car like three weeks now. <laughs> I don't know what what for experience that I will get tomorrow with that. So I uh, just take a small backpack and some water and something to eat. I don't know if I take the grill with me to for to make lunch and that. I don't know. I see. And yeah, tomorrow I will be at the same spot here. I don't know if I if I well. <clears throat> How long I stay here in parks because I'm still pretty far north and in the middle of what, what is it? Next week? No. Oh, next week is. Well, I would have like a good week now in Sweden. Yeah, it must be. Would have to check that out, but yeah, I should go further south. But when I drive south, I don't know if I will be able to get any wild camping spots. I'm a little bit hesitating with that. I would like to, but yeah, it's kind of difficult to find. And just to have one house after other, you're not welcome to do to, to put the tent up and uh, well uh, make you make you sleep somewhere and that. They want you to have, go in a hotel, but actually I want more the white camping. So mm, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We we'll see pretty soon. So, yeah, that's for. Oh yeah, well I, I did put put the surroundings here behind me because here because well the wind is coming directly from the sea. Oh, 
there's still blue sky coming again. Oh, that's very good. And it's kind of sheltering here, so I'm pretty well good with the wind. But when you stand up, walk around, the wind is about more from the feeling the double is so strong like it is now. So it's a good thing, very good. And I have to start my cooking. So uh, see see you later, maybe next time. So bye bye. Have a nice evening.